guys, what's up? It's me, Persephone, and I wanted to go ahead and teach you a tutorial on how to draw Princess Rapunzel from Disney's Tangled Rapunzel's Adventure series. I love it. It's a great animation, and I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and draw Rapunzel in this new animation state. Now, I have done a tutorial on Rapunzel, but this is just a different kind of pose, so let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with drawing the basic shape of her head. So we're just going to round up here, bring down this part, round this up. So there's a basic shape of her head. And then I'm going to go ahead and give an eye guideline. So her head is kind of tilted to the side, so I'm going to bring out this side just a little bit more there okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and divide up her head you can see she is kind of like tilting it to the side so let's go ahead and draw out the rest of her body just to kind of place everything so we got her neck coming down from here and here I'm just gonna lightly draw her shoulders her hands are on her hips shall we Enough. Now I'm going to bring down this side. I'm going to bring out her chest and go right back in. Go to the middle. I'm going to bring out her hip here. And then this part is just going to go straight down here. So we have the top of her arm right here as well as right here. So I'm just going to circle this off here and circle here. So then one arm goes out this way, one arm goes down, and then I'm going to bring in this arm, and then this arm's going to go in as well. So I'm just going to like make out, see how I get skinny towards the bottom of the arm because it's making her wrist. So I'm just going to map off this part. And then we've got her hand right here resting on her hip. So we're just going to leave it like that for now. Okie doke. So that's basically, that's as far as we're going to draw from here is like just the basic costume that she's wearing and her like the whole adventure thing. So this is like the second season, I believe. So let's go ahead and we'll zoom into here. Now let's start with her face. We're going to start with her eyes. So she's got these big old eyes still, and they're kind of like, she's kind of squinting just a bit. And then I'm going to go and jump over off to this side. So I'm just going to make them really big, taking up most of the entirety of her face, and we'll piece this all together. Their noses in this series, the animation noses, are super simple. We're just going to go ahead and make like a rounded off triangle at the moment. And then we're just going to lightly go underneath, just a little bit underneath there. Bring this down. And she's got kind of like a smirk going on. We'll go ahead and we'll just bring up that little smirk. So I'm going to jump on top of the right eye first. We're just going to go ahead and shape this up. So it's kind of angular. So I'm going to bring it up. Angle this down, so keeping it on that same eye guideline, bring it up, and then connect over here. I'm going to jump over here, do the same thing, make this nice and angular. Bring it over here so it's nice and thick, right there. Bring this down. And we don't really close off, the colors are what closes off the middle of the eyes. And we don't really have this nose ridge area. So when you color her in, you leave the eyes open and you just color in like, you know, the white and the distinction of the skin. So you're just going to bring down this eye here, make this nice and angular, same thing for down here. It's nice and wide. I'm just bringing it down just a little bit. I'm going to wide them up. Alrighty. Then you're just going to go ahead and draw one circle here, and then one circle here. 
and you just gotta keep those angles. So for her eyes, super thick eyelashes on top, so it's like a super thick line. You wanna keep it nice and angular. And then you're just gonna go in and it's like three distinct little eyelashes on top. Same over here, nice and thick eyelash on top. Keep those equal and then one, two, three. sure that the circles are nice and round and big and you've got some space so you're just gonna make a single like shine to the eye right here and here and then the pupil draw right inside kind of reminds me of anime or manga just a little bit but it's such a fun animation Alright, so for the nose, I'm just going to go up on top of her eye and create one little eyelash line, so keeping it similar and angular, just kind of round it off. So then we got the nose, and there's no distinction except color, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in this rounded off nose so it's nice and round, and then you're just going to bring up another, like, section above it so coming off to the side and off to the side right here you just bring it up and you lightly shade that in too and that's the distinction of her nose and her eye over here is really bugging me so then we're gonna jump up here and I'm just gonna so then we'll just her lips are really simple so she's got this smirk on so we got going off this side and then bring it up to here you're just going to round off the top lip here and you're going to bring it into that smile and you're going to just bring this down right here so go a little bit down off to the side and the upper lip is always darker than the bottom one I'm just going to round this off and make sure this goes and flows into it there we go you can go ahead and color this in too. Not, the bottom lip with coloring is always seems to be lighter than the top upper lip. But it's really simple, just nice and flows together. All right, and then for the eyebrows, let's go ahead and draw the eyebrows before we shape up the face. So we got one eyebrow we see over here and it's nice and angular and then the, her hair will be covering it up. And we've got another eyebrow over here. Make sure that they're on the same level so it's like very boxy on the ends. And then round it off. So her hair will be covering up that side so we don't even have to worry about it. But what you want to do to face, to just kind of clear up her face a little bit more to make it more of that shape that it is in animation, you bring out the side here, bring out this side, so we round off the top of the forehead, and then we bring out this side of the face. So you see it's very angular, it's like boop, boop, it's like a hexagon or like a baseball diamond, whatever you want to call it. So round off the bottom. And then we're just gonna round off this bottom and then we'll go ahead and we'll draw a very simple ear. Round it up, make it pointed at the bottom. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at her hair. So we need we need to keep up this part of the forehead, but her part for her bangs are gonna go off to the side. So I'm gonna bring up her bangs. And then we're just gonna bring this down here and then we're gonna go right back down into her head so this is her bangs but then the rest of her hair is off to the side so it goes out this way bring out this side out this side and then bring it back into her neck then from here 
up top, you're gonna go ahead and just bring this down right here and it's like a little braid going down into her bangs. It's kind of almost like, you know, it's just a fun way. She braids her hair in every kind of different crazy way. So from her bangs, you're gonna bring out this side, go out, go out this way and round it and it should match up to this side over here. So I know it looks kind of crazy right now. We'll just piece it all together in a second. All right, so let's just keep continuing drawing her hair. So from the side, you got another section down this way. And then back behind her, you have another section. So I'm just gonna lightly draw through here. And then another section down here. You just round it off. And then this one goes out, bring this in, and then another section going down this way. Now, starting from her bangs up here, we still have this little dip into her forehead. This is gonna go out and then back and around. So we have this section right here, so we can go ahead and round this off. So it just looks like a wave in the ocean. And then this part right here is gonna go across that eyebrow. And then we're gonna bring this one across in front of that little braid we have, and it's just gonna go right in. You don't even close it off all the way to the side. You still leave this one open. So I'm bring this part down and go down. Go ahead and erase a couple guidelines so we can see it just a little bit better. Now we're gonna cut off the braid right here. Now the braid's really simple. It's gonna go crisscross, but it doesn't like go off to the side. So we still have these rounded, this round braid and just crisscrosses like this. It just looks like really, it looks like really simple birds. And speaking of birds, she has a little bird right here, a little barrette that's going over her ear. And we even have a section of her hair going over her ear. And that bird is going to rest right on top of that. It's gonna go right on top, kinda looks like a weird looking parrot almost. So I'm just gonna draw the bird's face. And I'm gonna draw the wings going this way, round it in. I'm gonna bring down this wing. Go over that ear and make the body, which is pretty simple. It's just like a little tail. And then I'm gonna make the beak. Make an eye. I'm gonna jump in here and just kind of cut off like I go inside. And I mirror the wings and just go to the bottom to make those feathers. And then the bottom of the hairpin, he gets feathers too. Now for the division of her hair, so let's start on this side over here. Everything once again is angular, but it kind of just flows together. So, starting from the top, you've got the division of her hair going this way. And it's not individual strands, they're really simple strands. So we've got one here, and we've got another going down here, and another going down here, another going down this way, and another going this way. Then jump on top of her hair right here. You're gonna bring up this part, go in, Bring up that part. And inside this little wave, you're gonna bring down here, go in like that, and you can shade this in. This is just like the woof. It's like a bit a bit of a cowlick in her hair. And even her braid is a darker shade up on top. And then you've got her bangs, which is just kind of like, you've got one little division here. And then you've got a line going off to the side at the back of the braid. Make sure you still have this line. You've got one going down this way, one underneath the bird, and just one right here. 
And then that concludes like the top section of her hair. And then we just keep going back behind and then you could even like shade this in. But in between each section of her hair, she's got her purple beads. So you can kind of go in and draw like maybe half of the purple beads. All right, so let's jump to our neck. I'm actually gonna bring her neck over just a bit. So bring in this side of her neck here. And I'm gonna bring down this side of her neck. So she still looks like she's kind of like slanted off to the side. So I went underneath her chin and moved that neck over. I went over just a little bit and brought this one down too. So let's get to her outfit. So with her outfit, let's start with her actual like corset first. So I'm gonna draw from here. I'm gonna bring down like the side of her corset and then the other side of her corset here. So bring this down and then we're gonna bring down, make that V of the design and then we're gonna go back up. And then I'm gonna move off to the side right here. Bring out her chest. Go back in and then bring it down. Jump back over here. I go off to the side of this strap, make it a little bit thicker, bring this down, round off the corset, bring in her chest, like her other side of her torso. And then we're just gonna close this off. And then we have a belt right here, so I'm gonna draw this little oval. And I'm gonna go underneath. And then for her corset, you're gonna bring in this part of the corset. It's gonna go down, straight down into the belt buckle. Now, her corset is black, but it's like lined with maroon, so I can go down the side of here and here. And round off here and down. And then the maroon just goes right back up into her Strap. And we got one little button here. Then for her pink shirt that she wears underneath, you're gonna bring in the V-neck up here, and then this V-neck goes all the way up. So after we make this poofy sleeve over here, you're gonna bring down her arm, and her arm, the majority of your arm is like back behind her torso because she's kind of twisted. And then we're gonna go ahead and draw the cuff off here, which is basically just a rectangle. And then I'm gonna just bring down the rest of her arm here and here. So I'm gonna go past the guidelines that we drew for ourselves. That's what they're there for. Round off her elbow. Go in towards her body. bring out her hand here that we really cannot see. We're just gonna leave it there for now. And then for this rest of her arm, we've got, oops. We've got this rounded out, go back into her, her arm. This should be connected. Bring down this side. And then another rectangle for the cuff. She's gonna bring down her arm, go out this way, just keep bringing it out. And round it down. Same for here, bring this down. And then we're gonna bring out her hand. It's gonna go out and down into her hip. We're only going to like see the thumb, the majority of the thumb, so this thumb's gonna go out and back into her hip, and you're gonna round down this hand. And you're gonna just close off the finger so you just see like this triangle right here to show that the fingers are tucked behind and you can kind of go in and divide those up because they're just kind of turned in towards her. To accent the pink shirt that's underneath her corset a little bit more, you just accent the sides, kind of like showing the tugs at the, um, the fabric and up here as well and here and that's basically all you have to do for that 
And then for her hip, from her belt, it just goes out from her hip and then down. Same for over here, we can't see much of this. And down. Now for, she has another belt that's underneath. So you're just gonna go ahead and make a square right underneath this belt. So make a square. And you're gonna make the, like, the belt buckle like little hook. Round off a corner here, jump up here, round off the corner. It kinda looks like a picture frame. Round off the corner, round off the corner. Make another hill, round off the corner, make another hill, round off the corner, make another hill. And then you should just go right through that and draw a belt. You can draw right through the little picture frame belt buckle. And you've got a couple of like little belt buckle loops on here. Then after the belt buckle underneath, you've got the division of her skirt. So she's got like a different color maroon skirt. So this goes underneath, go down here. And then down here, and you've got like the pleated part of her skirt. So you can just bring down a pleat here and a pleat here. So this might all be connected. Like this part of her torso, like her corset is probably part of this overall dress because it's the same colored maroon. And then for her hair, so back here behind her torso, You've got like one division of hair. You got the outside of the hair here. And then from her elbow, you bring out this part of the hair. We're gonna adjust it just a little bit. So we've got the beads in her hair. And we're gonna bring out this part of her hair. And you're just gonna divide this here. Divide this here. I'm gonna color in those beads another part of her hair and you can see another part behind her arm and keep going down I'm just gonna make another section here make those beads and that'll be the rest of her hair and shading in is key Another huge thing about Rapunzel's face, she's got really blushy cheeks, so I'm gonna go in and just lightly shade underneath her eyes. And of course, she's got like a group of freckles on top of her nose. Not too many, it just looks like a good group of freckles. And there you guys go. There's how to draw Rapunzel from the Tangled series, uh, Rapunzel's Adventures. Yeah, I don't know. So there you go. There's how to draw Rapunzel from se season two of Tangled's Rapunzel Adventures, um, the really awesome Tangled cartoon series. I love it. And I thought it'd be fun to teach you guys how to draw her in this outfit since I've done a tutorial on her a really long time ago. I'll put that in the link down below or the box down below. That way you guys can go ahead and draw her in that position if you would like. But yeah, I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna draw Flynn Rider next. <laughs>